up down. So an interesting tidbit there, but yeah, this is uh it's a it's a good note, so ten seconds remaining. <laughs> Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. And they're gonna pick a doom. They're gonna pick a doom just for you in this last pick. It makes sense. I mean, poor blue hero is a red hero. It's fine. Cloud Nine's turn to pick. <laughs> if they get the visage, they didn't bear the visage. They didn't bear the visage. I mean, if you're gonna give it to him. Again, it's four, it's actually five ranged heroes, all of which are squishy as all hell. I mean, I told you that. You have another laptop. I know that you do. Don't give me that. It's Thanksgiving. It's the biggest game of the tournament. Five seconds remaining. Are you dumb? Stupid? God damn it, dude. Sometimes I, I just, I hate you. I just hate you sometimes, honestly. Prepare Do this stupidest shit. This, it, it is embarrassing. Oh my god. Cloud9, we're gonna jump into the game. They need a victory here, and that would secure themselves to the playoffs, I believe. I don't think they actually can... I don't know if there's any way that they don't get in the playoffs now at 6-5, and five, even though mine and Sandy are 6-8, and eight, but... Um, you know, they would like a better seed, to be fair. And they could do so. I mean, Donato's at seven and seven, so there's a shot. There's a shot for them, but yeah, it's important to note, by the way, that if you're fourth place, you have to play a, a, a tiebreaker. It's like a best of three tiebreaker to get into the playoffs. Um, yeah, the bubble race, if you will, sort of, but not really. But uh... <laughs> seconds to battle. <clears throat> Hey, you made it back. Congratulations. How does that work? How does the draft just screw you up? I guess there's a lot of portraits up on the screen for you and you're just like, it, it can't handle this. <laughs> the battle begins. Looking at your computer is like reading a Stargate or something. Cloud Knight's Lana. Pilot Eye is going to be on your Vengeful Spirit. They get the Precision Art first, by the way. No surprise there. Pilot Eye will pick up the Illusion Rune. It is going to be AY2000 on Visage. This is uh, this is his hero, man. This is it in a nutshell. You could argue and say AUI2000's hero is X or Y hero. It's Visage. E he's pulling your Dry Ranger. In the mid lane, it is going to be Fata on your Puck. And... Uh, that does leave here on the high ground. Actually, Bone 7 on the offlane, roaming Murana with double slippers of agility. They're gonna try to go in though. Fox is gonna get caught out. He jaunts away immediately. He doesn't really wait there. They just ran in with the flame guard and the tether. And this is not an easy lane for Fox. And the dual lane coming out. Oh, the arrow comes through and Croaky just narrowly avoids it. Ooh, ooh baby. First blood. Oh. Eternal Envy gets killed, uh, or gets again. Yeah. Is he dead again? Oh, he's dead. He's just dead. He's going the wrong direction. Frost arrows, level one surge. And they're going to chase him down. They're underneath their own towers. Not even like they're diving here. Simba's just like, please don't kill. Get Kai's. Come on, let me live here. No, no, not again. Pilot Eye does uh, get the kill this time around. And this is an this is a bad off lane right now for for Secret. I 
I'm I'm not sure why he's not heading towards the jungle, honestly. He I think Simba could do well there. It's not over, but I mean it, <laughs> They're gonna find No Tail. He's gonna get Grave Shield. He's actually gonna match Basilda. Like Tether, maybe. They're gonna try to get him out. Soul Assumption, that's enough for the kill. Croaky, the jaunt through Fata. He was trying to buy the block, couldn't get there. Croaky walks away and he'll save a lot, but um, this is not a good start. That was a bit different, I'd argue. I mean, at least Kuroki was getting farm. I mean, Kuroki is getting farm here as well, but. They're, they are getting safe lane farm for S4, which is something that's really nice to have. I mean, if he can get up to an early Orchid and start balling around, then this game can change, but... The arrow's gonna come in, and that is... That kills a creep, so nice little bit of extra money there for Bone7. There's no mana. One thing I'm concerned about is that this game is is already like this before he even gets his level six in the draw ranger. And I mean, imagine if he gets level six in, and obviously the max precision or at some point it's going to be an issue. Meanwhile, Kuroki's caught out winning rip pilot. I came with a magic missile. They get the kill. I was sacking in the meantime, and they just rotated and kill him without uh, help there. So, okay. Backside, Bone Seven is gonna find out uh, a dazzle. Puppy has been bottom for the most time. Arrow? No. Bone Seven's like, I'm not gonna go for that. Shoot arrow, miss arrow for Bone 7 thus far. Um. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Go away. They're gonna send in Fatsa here. He's gonna try to push his way back. Um, they are pushing really deep here. S4 was diving behind the tower. He's gonna take some right click and... I mean, Fata is here. He's level 5. No Dream Pool. They're gonna jump in. Ball Lightning's gonna fly. S4 is gonna get silenced though. And he's taking some damage. Overcharge is gonna fly further. And Pilot Eyes is gonna match Missile on S4. Yeah, there it finally goes. He is getting healed up with the Overcharge. He's gonna Ball Lightning away. They will get the kill. There's the healing wave going in the Shadow Wave rather. And now the Spirits as well. Fata, Fata is trying to man up on No-Tail. And No-Tail will survive, but so will Fata as he jaunts away. And actually, I think they're all going to live. Puppy was low. S4 was healed up by not only No-Tail, but Puppy as well. And actually, S4 was unkillable in that situation. They're going to go back in. Fox is like, I want No-Tail. He's going to find him. The Electric Vortex. Arrow's going to come in, and that's going to miss completely. They want to get the kill. Double kill for Fox, but S4 gets the other kill on the back end of this. Bone 7 has no leap. He has no leap. One more right click from S4. He only needs one more. He's going to get it. That's a double kill for S4. That Siege Creep giving him the vision. That's the MVP. Siege Creep coming in right now. Six minutes. As 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 S4 has struggled in the first game early on, he has done some work. He's got a ball at him. Bone 7 trying to leap the Electric Vortex. Wow. Dominating spree at six and a half minutes in for S4. 
And that's the one thing that's keeping them in this game and doing a really good job of it as well as S4 is dominating in this game currently. And, and figuratively and literally, he is dominating. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Over here now. Oh, Fata, good waiting there, but that is not going to save your life. Remnant in. Mega kill spree for S4. I like how when we say struggling for Crow, it's like. They can jump in easily. As soon as they see a hero, no matter who it is, in the mid lane, they're going to try to jump. Oh, but if they if it's an Illusion... Oh my god, this could be huge. This Illusion's going to come into lane, and he's going to jump in. Yep, there it is! <laughs> S4 is like, damn it. <laughs> Gus does hit on No-Tail. Uh, No-Tail is dead. That's, that's, that is rough for S4 and for Secret. That is a well-timed Illusion run for Fasa, though. That's, that's just bait city, man. Dyer's bottom tower. 
Yeah, that was that was something else. All the while, Simba does get room top lane though. I mean, he is up to level eight. He's he's got his ring of health. He's looking like maybe Crimson Guard this game. I don't know. It's a very strange item to pick up. You usually get mech on this hero, but yeah, it's I guess I mean against the right click of this team, it's it's pretty nice. Is alone. Oh, remnants! The, the remnant from Crow get the kill. Bone Seven might get the kill anyways, but that was still really nice. Uh, Fata is orchided. He's tethered up as well. Electric Vortex, and he's done. Middle tower is under attack. He's he's across the map. Look at him. He's killing both seven as well. He just TP's mid and gets another kill. Dude, he's seven oh and one. Seven oh and one at twelve minutes in. The, the seven of the nine kills from Secret are 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 S4s, and he has an assist on top of that. So it's actually he's been involved in eight of the nine kills. It's pretty good. He, he would be much easier to kill if he didn't have the Yeah, he's looking. I mean, he, he's right here. It wouldn't be difficult to kill him, even like with the Aegis. Like, that's fine. Just take the Aegis down and leave. But he doesn't seem to really. He doesn't need to silence him. He's going to silence him when he comes back up. But they, they did Moonlight Shadow, and he's not going to see him. Remnant's going to go. He, he's going to gust. And Match Wilson goes, and the Remnant coming through as well. No! Kuroki! Shallow Grave for Puppy! He's still alive. The Shadow Wave. He's going to Remnant away. Fatsu wants to kill. He's not going to get him. Swap back out. Pilot Eye does get the kill. But Godlike Spree. S4 is a man on a mission. He's looking for Fata. Nice usage of this. is coming. That's a triple kill. It ball lightning's further beyond Godlike. Puppy is chasing down Bone 7. They're going to find him. The Overload's going to go. It's going to be an Ultra Kill, maybe. Yes! Will he get the Rampage again? No, it looks like the Visage Birds will chase him down and Puppy's gonna zone out AUI. He won't be able to get the kill but four taken down. S4 is 11-0 and 1 at 14 and a half minutes. They are running over Claude Nine after that last fight. It's one way to do it. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. I mean, it already is the Orchid, and there's no reason why he Dyer's won't be able to get kills. That's the one issue like you talked about. If, if you don't get kills when you get the Bloodstone, I don't see him dropping off anytime soon. They're relocating. E, e Yeah. Good gust, actually. He might live. The silence is going to be gone now. They won't dive. They're going to back away. There was only one TP rotation, but there was another hero in Bone 7 coming through. Top lane Simba is looking at AUI. They're kind of just eyeing each other, saying what's up. But... No, this is their combo. This is their combo. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Do the wave. Oh, if they kill S4 here, he's going to walk right into them. They're going to blink silence him. S4 is going to get caught out. The Urka goes out of Fata. That is a huge kill. AUI is the one that picks up the spree. 
Yeah, he's got 2,000 gold in the bank now. Let's see. Let's see how much gold he did get out of it. Oh, well, hold on. Somebody's going to pop up his wall. Uh, he's going to get silenced up, and he is dead. Nice double kill coming out, or nice two kills going for Cloud9. That is exactly what they need, but in the process, they're taking some tier 2 tower damage. It's not even really taking that much damage yet, but... They're relocating onto EE. A good Gus again. Winning Rift Dream Coral and Big Daddy is dead. These relocates are not working out. This Gus is doing some work for Eternal Envy. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Oh no. Oh no, the ball lightning coming in from the tier 1 tower. Hey, the mouse is this for? He goes in, gets a quick kill. And of course, Kuroki picking up the other one. The double searing chance coming out of the two heroes right next to each other. That was, uh... It's quite the initiation from Kuro. He really did. And he's gonna go back home and remnant. Simba's gonna work on this top lane. He's he's close to Crimson Guard. Level one wall, he is still not quite where he needs to be to be super effective as a Darkseer. Um that, that courier went to the secret shop. I think just to get the soul booster from S4. He is a soul ring and a recipe away from getting his uh bloodstone, so. That death did put him back though. And that's it. Oh my god, Puppy with an amazing grave, keeping him alive. No tail will fall, and actually Kuroki should go down as well. Puppy actually broke it. Here comes S4. He is going to fight again. Now the wall coming up. The vacuum going through as well. S4 has no mana, though. They cannot get a kill. Soul Subject going to S4. He'll take some damage. Backing away is going to be Puppy. On the other side of things was Fata. He's going to try to TP away, and looks like he'll make it out. I mean, he needs the level three ult as well. It's not just the it's not just the uh, bloodstone. I think level three ult is going to be crucial for that. And the soul ring with the even without the bloodstone is is pretty nifty as well. So. Dazzle! That was a good swap, but no, it's not going to save you, I don't think. Yeah, he's dead. It's a good try. I mean, it, it definitely should. It's physical damage. Uh, it's physical right-click damage, I should say. Some like some of the abilities that are physical don't get blocked by Grim's Guard, but that does, I believe so. S4 is enough for a soul ring now, and then he'll have close to enough for... Oh, they're gonna. Are they gonna get one? Ball lightning? They're gonna get two. Yep. yep. Nice. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. He just respawned those, huh? That's unfortunate. Are they gonna fight bottom? Fata might have jumped on. S4 was thinking about it, but there's a lot of heroes here. This is not a good engagement for him yet. Wow, they are going to go all the way for A White's Thousand. Orca is going to go down. It looks like Electric Vortex and... Jesus. Yeah. That actually got him a lot of gold. Under attack. 
Uh, it's going to be tough, I think, at that point. Uh, that is an arrow flying in. That actually hits on its four. That could be huge. Can they get this kill? Gus might fly. Drew Cole goes first. There's the Gus. There's the winner. If they stack the silences, they don't really care. The Blessing was about to come out, by the way, but... And they get the kill on uh, No-Tail as well, so really well played. Kuroki does get the top tower. This is what you were talking about. They're giving a lot of space to Kuroki, and they are getting kills across the board, but... And also, bottom lane, Puppy is going to take a tier 2 tower. They're going to take two tier 2s, it looks like. Deny, it is going to be there for Drow, and now Puppy has to TPO, and he will make it out. No! The damage is too real from Eternal Envy. It was very close. He should have graved himself beforehand, but... Radiant's bottom tower is under Kuroki attack. Kuroki is a claymore away from his first battle fury, and with the strength that he has, that uh, that is not bad. I mean, he went Treadstrom, so it's not super late either. I mean, he still needs to get the claymore, obviously. That's 1,000 gold, or rather 1,200 gold away, so... He's not quite there yet, but... Emmy does get his PKB, so that's good. So S4 is not going to be doing as much. He will jump in, and unless Envy has quick trigger fingers, he still probably gets the kill, but... He went up to the high ground here, he ball lightinged up, and there was uh, an observer ward uh, just spotting him out 100%. That was just, a, I think, a mistake from S4. There's going to be the Aghanim Scepter coming out. The Moonlight Shadow as well. We can look for Simba. Won't find him. Back away. He doesn't go up to the high ground, luckily. S4 is back though, he's looking to jump in. Yule Scepter's gonna go on to Io. Moonlight Shadow, arrow on a no tail. They're gonna jump on Bone 7. He jumps away, actually. They get the kill. What a grave. Soul Exception. Io just bought back, relocated in, and died. No tell not having a good fight there. Arrow's going to sail through. Oof. Now these fights are starting to go... These fights are starting to go cloud nine's way, despite not having any 2-2 towers left and being down a bit of net worth. They're getting back into this. Preemptive to a certain extent, maybe for the hexes that are going to fly out here for S4, and maybe even for Simba at some point. I that's the question I wanted to ask, but we have a stats man. Maybe he can look it up. Yeah, maybe my packs can check that out for us. They're going to find Simba. They sit on the high ground. Gus is going to go. That's not good. They blow both of them up. They're maybe getting three. Waiting Rift isn't there. S4 is just going to ball lightning to the trees. and He's Dream Coil. I mean, that... he's actually just going to ball lightning all the way and TP out. Look, he went the distance. He went to the wall with that ball lightning. 
has fallen. All of a sudden, Kuroki has 2,500 gold after this battle fury. He's going the man build. He's going to go the Mansa, which means that he's going to be able to... Any silence now is going to be useless, I think. And... Gives you the damage as well. It's a build that I've seen a lot of. Um, not necessarily recently, but it's still pretty good. Birds had to be recreated as one of them already fell from AUI 2000. And again, he does up his Aghanim Scepter. He's sold his plate mail. He was going to go for the, uh, the Silk Cross. And he's like, no, nah, maybe not. Is anyone else building that? Maybe that's why. Uh, I don't think so. Not from anyone, anybody on that squad. So he was just kind of waiting, I think, to build up towards his Silk Cross. He wants to have buyback, I think. I think they realized that if they lose and they don't have buyback, or if they lose a fight and they don't have buyback, I mean, there are no tier twos available. So it's it's kind of like last game where it just kind of escalated quickly in terms of what could happen, what objectives could be taken. Yeah, I think, um, and once he gets the butterfly and then he picks up maybe, say, you could go for, um, I think something like, uh, Helm of the Dominator, Satanic, Scotty. And the Scotty coming in with the, um, Satanic would be nice. Nice slide of this to avoid the arrow. He does get winning rifted. He doesn't have his Mancy yet, so it looks like Kuroki is gonna fall here. Dream is gonna go, and he actually is able to survive, it looks like. He rubbed it away. He stays up. He's just gonna go. They do use the. Uh, that's not good. The familiar just brought him down. Wow. AUI with the the bird plays the moon. They actually don't see Bone Seven. They have no idea where he is. The moonlight shadow coming out again, and this has just been on point all game. They might take these birds though. Crookie wants this other one, and he's gonna find it. Nice. Simba is having the roughest game. He is the same level as the IO. He has a Crimson Guard and a Blink Dagger. He only has two points in a wall. This is not Simba's game at all. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. There are no birds. Is this time to go for S4 and for Team Secret? They don't have bat they don't have the BKB, but I mean Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. I I find it very difficult to see if S if, if Seeker can actually take a fight and you know get a rax off the back end of it. That sounds is over. That gust cooldown is not that long, though, sir. We can throw it up again in a couple of seconds. Wave of is gonna go. Kuroki's is in the front line. Steering Chase is gonna find a turn on the ball lighting. Good BKB, and now it's time to just get out. And Remnant forward. Kuroki made a mistake there. He did all the way forward looking for eternal envy, but he didn't know the BKB was gonna come in. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. And that's gonna be a tier 2 tower going as well. They're gonna TP away. Dream Coil is there. They're gonna find Sibba as well. Sibba should fall. Right coming in. Good grave coming in, but he's got no TP to escape, and uh, uh, he's still dead. And they won't pop, they won't know till they want all five of these heroes if they can get him. I don't think they will, but great fight coming up from Cloud Man. Oh, 
He wants to get Michelle. He's, he's gonna get pie at least, I think. And Imagine Basil, Moonlight, Shadow, they get one. Fox is gonna blink away. They won't get two, I don't think. They do a vision, and there's the dust going in. Fox is gonna get caught out. They do get Fox, so they get the double kill, and that gets his Bloodstone charges back up to five. So he does recover from that last engagement. Where's the party? Now, Roche is about to spawn. Yeah, they're gonna, they're gonna, the puppy's gonna walk in, he's gonna see it, and they're gonna be like, let's take Rush on! They know that it's there, he's got a medallion, it's time to go. It's time to take Rush, it's time to take the age, then maybe for secret, if they can take another fight, it be the game. He'd have to buy back. Yeah, I don't know if it is. Oh, puppy with the arrow. Birds coming in? Yeah, puppy can't, grab him. He should have maybe just dropped one familiar, and then, this is kind of weird. Sleight of Fist. These birds just got respawned. Uh, they have another one, though. Crook is going to get arrowed this time. They are making this... Yeah, they, they are buying a lot of time. With Medallion, I mean, they could fight this. Gust is going to go on to two. Arrow. Big Daddy. BKB coming up from MV. No Tail is still alive with the grave. They will take down the Aegis. Who's gonna get? Who's gonna get it? It's gonna be S Sports on the ground. Monster Kill coming in to relocate. Io does buyback. E is caught out. He will have buyback if he goes down, but that's a big kill. Pilot about to fall as well. They will grab Puppy. Simba's low. AUI is gonna brought down. S4 is going to work. Double kill for him. Three dead. Running up to the high ground. They're looking for Fats. He blinks away. Did they? No, they they backed away. Simba's gonna be able to grab this. He's gonna surge, grab the cheese. They couldn't get it done. A U I a bit too late to pull the trigger. What a fight coming out from Secret. Oh my. I mean, it's not easy though. That was a big jump. That actually wasn't in his entire meta pool either. That, that was a lot of it, but he's also back up to eight charges, by the way. He's caught up. Dude, he, he also has a cheese for full jump duration if he really needs to. Like, he can go across the map if he damn well pleases. And By the way, Big Daddy, he's bought back, like, on cooldown. Like, whenever it's up, he's buying back is what it feels like to get back in these fights. And it's worked out so far. At least in that fight, he did. Not in the last one, but... Well... I, you haven't seen his Elder Titan games. When he plays Elder Titan, he like get, gets a Yule Scepter. He gets like a Lincoln Sphere. Sometimes he'll pick up a Refresher. Yeah. It's different, yeah. Well, I guess I'm dead now. I'm a ball of light. Uh, yeah, I have no HP whatsoever. I actually am just the squishy thing in the face of the planet. I have two armor, so. Who want to buy back? Dyer's top tower is under attack. I'm not sure about the SMY pick up this game because if he had gotten a Manta style, he would have saved a lot of BKB charges earlier on in the game. And he only has seven now. I mean, seven second duration BKB charge. Arrow S4 is gonna, he has the Aegis. So even if they kill him, he's gonna be, he's fine. They're gonna relocate him back. Actually, No Tail is just like, uh, I am dead. He tried to relocate back and then he's like, you just BKB'd. I can't tether to you, you asshole. <laughs> and then he died. <laughs> Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Arrow? Ooh. Uh, it's a city, I think. It, it's just. Yeah. No, because then it would just fall to the ground. There would be a projectile on the ground at that point. 
I think it just evaporates. And we're getting into the real. We're we're really theory crafting. Theory crafting the lore of Dota 2. That's just a good use of our time. <laughs> Can you not talk about the arrow? Can you just not? Can we not do that now? I, I guess so. Yeah, you're mo immersion for Greg. <sighs> they are putting a lot of investment in for these these vestige birds. <laughs> They went from the ancient stack on the other side to their own big camp. They get both of them, yes. It takes them like a minute to do so. Again, it's it's an easy gate for his birds to get picked off. It's not necessarily his fault. Slide of fist, like come on, slide of fist, storm with remnant. I mean, there's a lot to we'll take these uh, birds down. Yeah, they need to find a fight now. Is there a buyback for Envy yet? There is. What does he get? He has 5.5k gold. There's the He does have the cheese. That is something. <laughs> Dude, these vicious birds cannot die again. I'm not sure. They're going to move. They actually want to keep these alive. There's going to be a hex on S4. He doesn't have the Aegis. He's dead. He does have buyback, but he doesn't want to fight. Brokey's in some trouble. Wow, they get two. They might get three as well. In fact, they do. Puppy's going to get chased down. There's the defusal blade. It purges off the Crimson Guard. He's going to get arrowed as well. That's a full team wipe. They were not expecting that Moonlight Shadow, and the hex coming out from Fata just blew everybody up. Yeah, that's... uh. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. They Radiant's might get more. Has fallen. Uh, well, they might have to buy back to defend a tier 3 tower because of how fast is this tower going to fall. Let's see. Uh, we have 400 damage on Envy. By, or rather, backdoor protection doesn't matter. This is Glyphed. Why is it still backdoor protected? What the hell? It was for a second. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's, it, was, it was strange. Buy back to Dazzle. Greetings. <laughs> and now all of a sudden, if you're getting the jump on Storm Spirit, I think the, the, the fight is just over. He is your main damage dealer. He's your main initiator. He's your main everything. Kuroki does some damage. He's he's relatively farmed, but being forced to buy back means that he's not getting a Daedalus next, means he's not getting a double bat if we were next. It, it puts him back a bit. And, and now if you're Cloud9, I think you could just keep going and keep sieging, keep pressuring and trying to find kills. Use that Moonlight Shadow. Use that Smoke of Deceit to find kills and then go from there. If you can get another kill on Kuroki, I think you maybe just win the game. I think this is, yeah, this is big. And I, I'm surprised they didn't go for the Lincoln Sphere up on S4 because of how he's been picked off this game. Although, I'm not sure. It might be too much money. He wants the Courier. He's going to find it. And I'm not sure what was on that Courier. But, oh, that was that was his Daedalus. That was Envy's Daedalus. He has no buyback. Envy's going to get swapped. S4 taking a lot of damage. There's the Great Wall is up. One's dead already. It's only one. And now it's time for Secret to back away. Envy's going to try to fight. Ghost Scepter for Simba. Solo Scepter. Ooh, Simba Solo. Gust onto Kuroki. They can't go up to the high ground. Fight's done. They're going to try to heal up S4 as quickly as possible. He didn't want to use his cheese there. Oh, my God. No Tails just healing him like crazy. Roche is up in 
Wow, this is a very early duration, Roshan. That's huge. If Seeker can take that, this could be critical. Maybe even the game, man. If it's a, like a full five on five fight and one team is wiped, I think the game is over for that team. I mean, Venge doesn't matter. I mean, if I, I'd argue that I'd argue that a secret of win the fight. I, I guess you still have the buyback on S4, and he responds pretty quickly, anyways. But it's a uh, difficult situation. They're gonna walk right into the roach pit as it's respawning. Two, one, puppy, don't leave yet. There it is. He's gonna see it. <laughs> He's like, up oh, there. It's here, guys. Come on now. It's another cheese in ages. Oh. Smoke from Cloud9, the rap play. And they're gonna back out of Roach Pit. This is very smart from Secret, so smart indeed. They're gonna back away. They, they do not need to get wrapped on now. This is the worst possible time to have it happen to them. Oh, here we go. They're gonna jump in in a second. There's the waiting rift and drip coil onto two. Big Daddy caught out. Puppy is in some trouble as well. Vacuum wall going in. Evie has no buyback to swap out. He's alive. No, he's dead. BKB barely gets off. Pilot Eye will survive for the time being. Moonlight Shadow still going hex on S4. And AU is trying to TP out. He is going to make it just barely. Ball lightning in long range. They want this puck. Are they going to find it? He blinks away. Another ball lightning coming in. And Fox has got a waiting rift. Phase shift going yet again. He is going to get Orchid at this time, and Fata is dead. He will have buyback. They're going to push in mid. Maybe we're going to take Roshan. Wow. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Roshan has fallen to the Radiant. It is burns eternal. Ah. I think S4 used his cheese in that last fight, I believe. Um, his first one, he had, he had a, one before. Yeah, he is going to have his Daedalus, and this is... I mean, the, it's not going to matter if Envy dies, though, like immediately, like he did in the last engagement. It's just not going to matter. Dyer's structures are fortified. He's guard. That bitch. It's gonna be it. I mean, if anybody. If anyone. I could just say that they I blew that my back. I think you prevent me that back. I'm sure. Keep it. Over here now. It's it's difficult to get in the game. He won't. He goes. He's now reload. Simba's chase. Sons. Report. Maps. Absurd. Maps. He won't fall here. The crow. He will be locked here. And they're right. And that's pretty cute. This. Gonna just. Anybody. Uh, he didn't go down. There you go. What the heck? What the heck? What the heck? 
find a way to get killed twice. So, I mean, I have no during the entire fight, but when you're fighting, it's not nearly. But under a little bit of pressure, when the situation gets really, really dangerous, and I'm sorry, close as it kills us all this this good this fall ranger has popped the floor butterfly what an act and uh call and it's their aim to try the high ground Roach is gone, H is gone, Jeez is gone, well, it's... I mean, I think it was a small... I mean, he lost out I could not use it. Who has on the same team? They're gonna smoke up and go for here. Uh, pilot, uh... And there's no enemy jungle. For uh, think they're soaked up now. They found the but oh, there are black. Yeah, they're in the they're not. Top two or something. Here we go. Should I? Should I think so. They're all leaving. And they get out of these fellas. But if this is going to be again, this is the back up. Now we're quite new here. You top option, you can maybe try to pressure mid. It's a lot of options, really. I mean, Envy is hitting so hard, but he has no survivability. Like, it's a glass yeah, cannon, at least. I mean, the problem is there's so many good ways for them to actually initiate on him through the BKB. I mean, if he gets hexed and then pulled, then BKB doesn't help him because he can very easily die during that time. Now, C9 are going to smoke up. Big Daddy has purchased up his own smoke as well. Oh, they know Kuroki's here. Blood here. Kuroki is hexed up. Uh, they're going to have to win and rift him, in, but he can just match out of it. Another hex going in. They relocate him away. Simba is Yules up, and, and that is going to be that. It looks like there's a problem with the Skype call. No, are you still here, Greg? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, I don't know why it's saying that, but whatever. Arrow's going to sail in. Not going to hit. The relocate was a bit too... That was close. That arrow almost timed on the relocate, but... I like this that was a good there. engagement. Nice. Pig remnant right here. I, it looks just like a regular remnant to me. Oh, really? it's a Actually, it's a storm. It's a storm remnant. That is a storm remnant. I think that's literally storm spirit for me, <laughs> and with a sword in its hand is what it looks like. Interesting. All right. I, well, I don't know. Smoke up Maybe by I'm secret, on. but I think they're just gonna camp behind Kuro, hope that C9 go on him. I don't know if C9 is interested in playing that aggressively though. I think so. I think that might are now coming up, so we might be in this from the long haul. Yeah, this is gonna be. Uh, at least two more fights, I'd say, before we get Turkey's anything gonna going. Turkey's going to have to wait, guys. Turkey's Seriously. Have to wait. I mean, unless, like, you're a Dota watching family watching Dota together while eating turkey, in which case, I want your family. <laughs> which case, I'm Please, may I have it. Yeah. Secret. Just trying to take map control now. Trying to control this so they can engage on their terms, because if Storm is able to jump in on them, he has enough CC where they can easily win the fight, but... He's pretty fragile. I mean, if he gets hexed or arrowed, you can. We saw what happened in the other fights. So, the way that these engagements go down is extremely important. If they catch S4 with the hex, is extremely important. If they catch Kuro with the hex, is extremely important. Although, since he doesn't have the BKB, it's much less important to be, for him to be caught by the hex. I think they're going to be aiming to initiate on the S4 every single time, try to get the kill on him, and then they can deal with everyone else just with pure physical, kite them, etc., Kuroki. He's dangerous, does a lot of damage, but with no BKB, he has no real survivability against a hero like Puck. See, seeing him with his own Hex or Silence, they have tons of stuns as well, so... There's a lot of options. I feel like S4 has also eaten an inordinate amount of arrows this game. Yeah, he's had a couple that have been unfortunate, to say the least. <laughs> that's just how it goes, I guess, sometimes when you're playing up against Bone Seven's Marana, who... He only has three losses to his name. I mean, he was struggling really hard at the beginning of the game, but now it's on himself a lot of farm. Has the Diffusal Blade, uh, which reportedly cannot purge off Shallow Grave. So, I'm not 100% sure on that yeah, one. Yeah, but... I think that's... I'm pretty sure that's that's true. Uh, S4 is going to find Pi. This is a big fight. BKB goes in, and Pi Light Eye is going to fall. And S4 is getting 
right click down a lot. There's the Orchid going in, and this is a fight that's going EE's way. Grave keeps S4 alive. Kuro's going to jump out of two and turn swap back from Pile I Die. S4 is going to fall, though. He did not get his cheese off. Yeah, Meanwhile, Kuroki's out. chasing after Eternal Envy, and they're not going to be able to get him. It looks like he's just going to run away. The fight is spread out across the map. No Tail's going to fall. Silence misses on Kuroki. Now he's going to try to remnant it away. He gets stunned up by the Visage Birds. AUI with, again, godlike control over those Visage Birds. Simba now going to get caught out the slow. Ghost Scepter's going to keep him alive. The jump forward. Diffuse a blade. Going to keep him up. And they diffuse the Ghost Scepter off. He's done. Double kill for Eternal Envy. Four dead. And they actually don't have a buyback on S4 for another 30 seconds. Kuro does. Um, no buyback for Simba for 100 gold. No buyback for No Tail. They do lose Fata. They do lose uh, Pilot Die in the end there. But Pilot Die saving the life of Eternal Envy so often with those swaps. My god, what a fight. Yeah, Pi has done a great job with the swaps. Uh, AUI has done a great job with the birds. C9 playing this game immaculately, even in the face of this very, very scary Storm Spirit, who again is not able to get the cheese off because he gets nailed by another arrow, is stunned forever through the entire shallow grave and afterwards, and he goes down as a result. Radiance now pressure on Secret's attack. base with only two buybacks, Radiance although it is two of the cores. Both the Storm and the Ember sitting on there, so... They just glyphed a tier 2 tower. They don't buy back though, that's the thing. Uh, yeah. I guess that's that's the key, is they, they haven't bought, bought back and they're not going to either, I don't think. Um, Roche is, they, they are scouting it out with this courier and it is a minute and about 15 seconds away from spawning, so. Dusky. Sell out courier, I mean, sorry, BTS courier. <laughs> and you were talking about um, immersion earlier. Yeah, I bet you're the kind of guy that doesn't like a hockey stick on a on a. No, dude, team. I love it. I don't actually care about immersion. I was just wondering what happened to the arrow, and you're just hating on me. I mean, listen. I just want to know what happened to Marana's arrow. It just, is there it, like is there a place where they do you all want the logical? Do you want the logical explanation? Do you want me to get into programming for you? Do you want me to, no. to tell you why? I know. That's I what just I want to know where all those vanished arrows go. Do they all? Are they all alone, or do they they hide like, together? You know, in the afterwards, is there a place where arrows that don't hit someone go? They all actually. And, is there a heaven and hell for arrows? One for the ones that hit people and ones that don't. It's like an AA meaning for arrows. <laughs> oh god. Well, pardon Secret us. Are, Secret are still just farming here. Both teams want to get buyback on as many heroes as possible, and they want to be able to smoke to engage here. And I would expect that both teams are out of smoke. C9 do not have any for them. Secret are out as well. Secret are out as well. So <laughs> smokeless game. No, oh, they have they have MLS though, but they cannot can smoke they actually them. get S4 here? Them. This is a really sketchy right, well, initiation. Simba Simba's gonna get hexed up and uh well buyback he might have it. They're gonna pop the BKB. Fox is getting low, they will catch him out of position. S4's BKB's done. The Orchid under Eternal Envy. His BKB has already been used, I believe. Swap out. No, he gets it used now. Bone 7. The Slide of Fizz doing some damage here. Puppy now. He's silenced up, but they gotta get it for. His cheese is still available. He's gonna pick up Bone 7. Pops the cheese. And the Daedalus Pops are going in. Now they're gonna use this uh, Shell Grave to keep Big Daddy alive. EE is getting low, but they take down S4. He's got buyback, and he might need to use it. Kuroki. They missed the Gust. Eternal Envy solo, but he's not dead yet. Remnants away. Kuroki cannot get the last hit. Fatsy comes back in. No Yule Scepter. Siri Chan. Illusory Orb, he's gonna jaunt through oh, Kuroki, wow, Remnants man. up to the high ground, he's gonna die, the right click follows him, it's a team wipe, AUI gets the double kill, the Assault Cross coming out of perfect time, and they only lose one, they lost Fata, but he bought back, oh my god, what a fight. Secret, are in potentially, uh, oh, they're the top racks. racks, too, yeah, the wow. are so pushed in, does AUI have birds to send bottom? I think not. I'm I don't pretty think sure they all those died. Birds keep getting massacred by well, Sleight of Fist. Sleight of Fist is a, such a good ability against the birds that it's it's actually ridiculous. They're gonna oh, TP they're gonna in. Puppy is here. S4. No, oh, he canceled the TP. He did not want to go over there, and that's that's smart. I mean, you saw the ball lightning from S4 at the last second. That was yeah, very smart. Died, I think the creep died from the ball lightning. But I don't know if they want Envy to come into that fight anyway, because that, I mean, that's potentially, he comes in with BKB and just kills them all. It's Roche time again, man. That's a, that's a range Rex top that's gone, that's fine. This melee Rex will fall eventually to AUI's bird at some point. Range not that important, I mean. Well, I mean, but the thing is that if, if, if AUI gets these, if, if they get the creep wave close enough to the base, the range, the uh, birds are just going to kill that immediately. It's just going to die. AUI, going to grab the Aegis. Is, it a, is this a rapier game for the Visage? Were you, I don't know. Were you casting that one? I was not. There is a that was your visage. game. I mean, wasn't plays, it? I think. 
Is this a is this a pure visage game? Who knows? What what tournament was that? That was this it tournament, was, that wasn't was it? This tournament, yeah. That was you, dude. Rape you were casting visage. that. All right, I forgot. You know you what? were casting that game with F4, <laughs> I think. It was you and Kevin. You can't even remember. But I mean, when it comes down to it, this is just not a terrible rapier carrier because he gets so tanky with. He's got a Sulcheros. He's got an Agnes. I mean, why not? Why not get I mean, a rapier? Yeah, what else is he gonna buy? <laughs> You bought the Aegis, which BKB. makes me think maybe, That's but... his item choice. Alright, whatever. <laughs> Refresher. Uh, actually... I don't think that's... Uh, that's what he's buying. Yeah, he bought a Refresher. <laughs> yeah, wow. I thought you were just throwing that out there, nope. but you you are right, that is a Refresher Orb, and... At this double point hex. in time, I, I, don't know, I don't think the birds... The birds definitely don't stack, obviously, but... I mean, you get the Double Hex, that's the most important double thing. Hex, like, yeah, that's the most important thing. That's, that's huge. So they upped the number of hexes from their team by one, so now they're from two to three. Envy now finally going to go for some lifesteal, which should give him a little bit better sustain through these fights. It's going to be in the in the form of a satanic, which he is almost at, but he has to save for buyback because it's so late now that you have to have it, otherwise mm -hmm. you potentially just lose. I mean, he doesn't have the ages, so it's it's pretty much this point. <laughs> uh, there is the Linkus for Foss, so that's nice. I, I don't know how... I mean, as for... Barely lived, and he actually did die with cheese. I don't understand how you're going to survive these fights anymore. Like he has, he has fallen off after his amazing start. He is yeah. not the storm spirit that he once was. Yeah, kind of unfortunately, what happens with storm if you don't get the bloodstone charges, then you just fall off. You get like 20 bloodstone charges, you can just zip around the fights forever, make it impossible for them to target you. Use your spells on when they're on CD and just kill people, but. Since he only has four bloodstone charges, that is not a reality that he is part of. This game is becoming very difficult now for Secret. I think uh, buyback status. I mean, on the other hand, they do have an Ember, so Ember he is going to continue putting out just ridiculous amounts of damage. I mean, like, but they need the control in the fights from S4. So I they mean, one hex alive. and he's dead. Like, and they don't have swap to deal with. They have Brave, yes, but like one hex and he's just going to die. That's it. Yeah, Pi has been amazing with the swaps, making sure that Envy just lives through the fights. They gotta clear out these Pressure two birds. They're, and... they're gonna try to take down this Rax. I don't think they're maybe, gonna have much of an issue. Uh, dead melee Rax, I think. I don't know if you defend as hard for a melee Rax here. Mm, probably not. I mean, Crow's gonna spam the waves down, but. The Vistage birds are gonna come in, and whenever they're creeping, and whenever they're up. Yeah. He's just gonna throw these uh, Vistage birds on. But look at the Slut at Fist clearing the creep wave, and. Cloud Knight have to find a way to get into the base. It's not gonna be easy, but. 60 minutes here. These have been two extremely long games. Mjolnir now done for X bone seven. Went on to Kuroki, but there was no follow-up. He actually refreshed and he just refreshed to get birds again, I believe. Or he just hexed up and refreshed, I believe. I'm not sure. Regardless. Sure, yeah. Regardless, the refresh is on cooldown. Bird summon is available. If they do go down here, he's gonna resummon them. Loses a couple. Envy maybe gonna go push out bottom lane. I mean, they need to figure out a way to get into the base. They need to. They really need another smoke gank, I think. Smoke's off cooldown now for a C9. For secret, I'm not sure. I mean, I feel like they have good base defense with Slide of Fist, but there's so many hexes on C9 that if he's in a position where he's sliding them, they can just blink on him and uh, hex him right afterwards. I, you know, I think Kuro might need to buy a BKB. I'm not sure. No, I'm but, sure that's that's probably his next choice, I think. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I think you just need it, right? It's like, <clears throat> you just die without it. I think you have enough damage already at this point that, that you... I mean, I guess you don't have the MKB up against Drow's Butterfly, but... I mean, that's the aggressive item choice, but you, if the engagement doesn't go exactly how you want it to, potentially you just get stunned or hexed, and, and then you die, and then the game is probably just over, so... We'll I don't see. think they can afford to let S4's buyback come up. At this point, they, I think they need to push him before that happens. So I think Cloud and I need to make something happen with the Sages. And now that they have the Satanic for Drow, I think this is the time. To, he has 3,000 gold plus the Satanic, so it's time to fight if you are Cloud9. And this is a fight that I don't know if they can lose. Um, I mean, since Ember's it's not, really hard, I think. What did Ember just purchase? Alright, he's going for more damage. Okay. He wants the second Daedalus. He's going on. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, he didn't buy it when he had buyback and enough for AB, so I guess it's fairly obvious that he's doing that. Two gems for C9, one on Pi, and one on the Courier. Smoke on the Courier, so... If the Courier is following him around, they're gonna smoke as soon as they, uh... Yeah, but they're all bottom, so they're not really together at all. Pi can't really smoke by himself, that doesn't do anything. That's not, yeah, that's not conducive to a, 
a killing environment. Aegis does go down, but it was only on Curtis, so I think you can make an argument there that it doesn't matter that much. Yeah. Who is the holder of the cheese? Uh, that's a good question, actually. Pi has it. Yeah. Okay. So, at this point... Are they going to wait for another Roche? I, I, I really hope they don't. This game has gone long enough, I think, for both teams. But they, they'll, I mean, it's been a great game. 33 to 46, actually. It's still relatively close. And I mean, the buyback even, is going to be up for S4 in a minute, by the way. Well, he, yeah, but he doesn't have enough gold. He's well, he'll be able to farm that up pretty quick, still though. Still pretty short. Yeah. Uh, so, for Cloud9, they're just farming their own jungle, and Secret are stuck in their base for the most part. And Kroki's the only one that's bold enough to go out, and then he just permanently back into the well afterwards. Also, if you see this effigy on uh, in Secret's base, Simba's, Chop. the axe. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Okay, I'm, I'm on board. I'm on board with that as well. I, I mean, I, I don't know, man. I, this gets to the point now where either team can easily win just off of either a couple misplays or one fight that gets that gets initiated on a smoke gank they don't know about. Like, when you get into this late in the game, it's just super sketchy. Both teams have really good cores. Although, I mean, originally you could argue that C9 only have one core, but this is just so goddamn farmed, he's basically a core. And the same can be said, I think, for Murano, who is dealing a lot of damage now at this point. So, both teams really with two to three cores. So, I don't know. I mean, one team has a Wisp. I guess that's beneficial. Who but knows what happens later on this man. game. This game is going to go past 7 to 80 minutes at this point. I think there's going to be a big fight either over the next Roche, and if one team gets the next Roche for free, then that team have a huge advantage potentially looking to end the game at that point. Well, they got the free Roche last time for Cloud9, they didn't finish the game yeah, off, Yeah, but that so. was on AUI, though. Like, yeah, but you're going to put it on AUI again, there. right? Aren't you? I mean, I mean maybe put it on Fata, I guess? You put the Aegis on Fata this time around? you can just drop the BOTs. You can put the BOTs on the Courier if you're Envy, and then just... Yeah, I suppose. All the Courier rounds. I think that's fine. There is no buyback currently for Team Secret. Because if Kuro dies here, he's 180 gold away. I don't know what you do in this situation. I, I feel like if, if Cloud9 knew the buyback situation, they would they would push in, hands down. Yeah, but I agree. They don't. I think that's true. Um, Aegis, Roche is... Did you see when the Roche respawn was up? Did you see the no. timer thing on the side? No. Alright, well, we're going to find out quickly when it's up, so... Yeah, we'll know. We will know soon enough, but... Both teams, I think, playing passively, but with how pushed in the map is, much easier for C9 to take it, so it's going to be a pretty average respawn here, 10 minutes. Could be worse, I suppose. I mean, I guess they're just going to wait now, like... I, both teams are way too afraid. I mean, Secret are way too afraid to fight because they don't have oh, buyback. C9 are not waiting, man. They are smoking up. Alright. It's game this time. This is a man of action. If S4 does not Secret, get a kill and dies, they, he's going to be know, man. without buyback. Secret have an understanding of what's going on now. This is going to come down to initiation. Oh, Kuroki's going to get caught, but it was a bait. The waiting rift. They relocate him out. They were waiting in the wind. Puppy is going to use the ghost hipster. He's hexed up as well. The refresher's going to go, and now Puppy's going to get caught and die. But if that is the only kill, well, it is going to be Simba dying as well. But he does have buyback. S4 is just sitting though. Oh, now S4 comes in, in, he gets a kill, he's gonna back away. No, he actually, they lose three heroes. They lost no tail as he relocated back in. There's the buyback coming out from Simba. And now it is time to take this set of racks. Cloud9 are not, they're not clouding around anymore. It's time for them to take these buildings and take this game as well. But it's gonna be difficult. Back. S4 is back. Or S4 is lightning uh, in, BKP is gonna go. E is hexed up, swap out going through. But that was onto an illusion. E is still there. He is taking damage. He has satanic. He's gonna use it. He's popping it off. Simba's getting right clicked. He is at about half health now. S4 is in trouble. He's dead. He will have buyback, however, and he's gonna have to use it now. Slide of fist going in. They'll back away. They have forced out the buyback of S4. They have taken the top racks. That's Happy with victory. what they've accomplished. They are going to back away. If they get this Roshan now, they're gonna be in a really good position to just push down lane. All the lanes are so pushed that even if they all die at the other base, it won't matter that much. They all have buybacks, and there's some in case of some sort of disaster here. So they're just going to continue pressuring and maybe get a scout over to Roshan, see when that's up, but C9 are in a great position forcing out that buyback with all of them having it still. So C9 maybe forcing themselves into this game. I mean, who would have thought with F4 so farmed, getting so many kills, 
that they're actually C9 are just fighting back now. I mean, this Rax is just dead. Yeah, Melee Rax is gonna fall first, and this is gonna be two sets of Rax down. They don't want to fight without Puppy, without yeah. Shallow Grave, and without Shallow Grave, I think it's a good point. But if they get two range, two sets of Rax here, well, they get the melee back. So they might be happy just to back off and go to Roche now. Looks like they are. I think this they go to really, Roche. Really they smart. come back when they get the Aegis. Yeah, if they yeah, get the Roche. Is... They can. I mean, this Roche is gonna die in like two seconds. Uh, they're just gonna charge down bottom and try to end the game. And with no buyback on S4, with no, with there is a buyback on Kuro, but with no buyback on S4, potentially they're in trouble here. Oh my lord. It is a Bone 7 uh, Aegis. We haven't talked about Bone that much, but he's a Manta Mjolnir and a, a Diffuser Blade. He's so he so actually is, he's pumping out damage. So this was an offlane Marauda with literally nothing early on in this yeah, game. He got no arrows. He was not really able to do anything, but he quietly farms up, gets a lot of great arrows in team fights, isolating S4, killing S4. And with that, I mean, he's found himself in a good position. Cloud9 is going to charge down the bottom lane now. The only lane left fully intact at divine oh Radiant. it is time purchase for kuro they know that this could be the end he has two daedalus he has a good chance to crit here and oh man oh C9, need to be careful. they i don't know if they saw that i think they had an observer ward over here at the roach pit or rather excuse me at the uh close to the secret shop they might have seen him pick up that rare beer so Jeez. seems like they know they immediately back up that was. And they have uh, so much money, they might just try to throw themselves at this Rax. They, they know that it's up now. They just saw him walk mid. So they know that Kuro has a rapier, or at least they should have an understanding. Gato's purchased for Bone 7 as well. He's stacking on the damage now. Kuro trying to clear out these creeps with the rapier is going to be able to do that very easily. Oh, man. This is, this is the one item that is going to keep Secret afloat in this game, is this rapier, I think. It just becomes such a sketchy situation for both squads now. Envy, oh, Envy potentially baiting here has eight thousand gold. Yeah, but there, there is, there is not every hero is there. Bone Seven and Fatsa are still yet to get to the base. I'll tell you what, if Cloud had win this game, they've had to work for it. They've worked their asses off, and Secret have plenty. Oh, okay, four. another refresh gun. Four, and now they're up to four X's. Double Dream Coil as well. The, obviously, the Hexes are the most important part, though. That is middle, middle far away. Familiar, it's not a big deal. Daedalus is now done for Bone 7. It is time to fight. It is time to go. Whether or not you're afraid of this Rapier, you've got to find a way into this base. Yep. Fought us 30. Or now actually has enough gold for buyback, so... If they get some crits plus the Rapier, they could pull this game out to 80 plus minutes. Wall's gonna go. E, e pops the BKB. That wall does nothing. Um, Ghost Sippers gonna fly the Hex up Simba. They're gonna take the 2 3 tower back away. They need to wait for this wall to go. Kuro's still really weak though to a Hex. Still can instantly die. Absolutely. 2000 HP. The wall's down. They're gonna back up. They're gonna reset. Push back into the base. That wall's pretty big at this point. Ball, ball lighting, S4. they're going to go in. S4 is going to try to fight this, and he's getting low. He's going to ball lightning across the map, and they won't be able to take it down. Soul Assumption, he's dead. He has no buyback. They wanted to take the fight to him. What an awful idea. Kuro is going to fall as well as he's X'd up. That is a team wipe. Rapier on the dick. Who will end the game with it? GG is called. It's going to be Bone 7. His Rapier, the last set of racks is done. Cloud9 come back. They even up the series, and they give Secret their third loss. What a amazing series. 70 minute game. Greg, we couldn't ask for a better game here on Thanksgiving, and we're thankful for that. Absolutely. Thank you guys, if you are American, for sticking with us on this wonderful turkey day. I hope it's full of gobbling.